Hey again, guys. So we lost another all-time baseball great, the great Mari Wells. You know, for us baseball fans, certain numbers stick in your head, and you know exactly what they mean. And that's how 104 is uh, with me and Mari Wells. Now, Mari Wells never had a tops card until 1967. Man, this was a this was a hot card to get uh, when I was growing up. One of the ones you wanted, because he had come over to my Pittsburgh Pirates by the time he got on a Topps card. Now he was on he was on earlier cards like the Bell brand, Post Serial, sixty three Fleer, among others, but he wasn't on a Topps card. Then, of course, his son gave us one of the greatest error cards of all time. This was a hot card when I was young with the Blue Jays there. So, uh, I have this book from my childhood. I've shown it to you guys. I think I have every card on the front and back of this. Pretty sure I have every one. But in this book, they interview Cy Berger. And he explains why Mari Wills did not have a Topps card until 1967. So I thought I would read it to you. Until the late 1950s, a Topps scout was sent to spring training camps to sign up players likely to make the jump to the big leagues. According to Berger, this policy was changed for humane reasons. We were going through some soul searching at this time. I consider myself a humanist and it became depressing for me to have our young men, our men go into a clubhouse of 25 boys to sign 10 or 12 of them and have the others feel rejected. So he goes on. Um, I'm going to skip ahead here. At about the same time, we had our scout Turk Karam, who once scouted for the Brooklyn Dodgers, New York Yankees and Chicago Cubs, and who was considered a good judge of talent go down to the Detroit Tigers training camp. A young man was there who had held, uh, who had been sent over by the Dodgers. His name was Mari Wills. Turk spoke to the Detroit people and watched Mari play. And based upon what he heard, there was no way that Mari Wills could be a major league prospect. He had a weak arm and couldn't hit very well. So we didn't sign him. The Tigers missed out too, of course, by returning him to the Dodgers. Afterwards, I remember sending a note to Turk. Wills had been the only one not signed in that Detroit training camp in 1958. I wrote, why hurt the guy's feelings? Murray stayed angry at us for some time, even after he made the majors. He didn't sign with us until about his eighth year. He was the only major leaguer we didn't have under contract. You couldn't blame him, of course. After that, we signed every player in the minors and saved ourselves headaches. To add a nice ending to the Will's tale, Berger adds, Mari's one of my closest friends now. A few years ago, he came into town at four o'clock in the morning without tickets for the World Series. He called me up and asked if I could help him. Of course, I got him the tickets. Straight from the horse's mouth, Cy Berger. Mari Wills, rest in peace. Thanks for watching.